Artificial intelligence is not just a tool for multi-million dollar companies. Oh no, in fact, AI is actually accessible to many small business owners who are using it to help drive overall growth with everything from marketing and sales to analyzing budgets. Here's more of my conversation with Dr. Patrick Diggs. It can help recruit, it can help with payroll, it can help um, make other tasks, as I was saying, repetitive, make those um, run faster. But in the mom and pop shops, it'll allow those companies, those companies in those small areas to say, hey, we can get better operations here. We can see where we need to spend money at because, you know, when you buy a product, there's what they call RFID, radio frequency identifier. Companies like Walmart and grocery stores know when you scan an item, what is being bought the most. So in a mm -hmm. mom and pop shop, they can look at their inventory and say, we're selling more of let's say um toilet paper yeah toilet paper <laughs> we need to get more toilet paper in here during this time of the day we're selling more than this Got during it. these times of the hours we need to have less staff people so that's how artificial intelligence can help out the mom and pop shops but the thing is it's going to cost them a lot of money up front they would have to be uh, they would have to be explained up front that hey up front you're going to spend a lot of money but in the down run you're going to save money and make more money so as you heard there, it's really an investment, but I think at the end of the day, if your company can't afford it, being the small business owner, it can, in a way, level the playing in field the long run, with the big box stores right, to some right. extent. In the long run, sure, and it's and that does have practical uses, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. 